All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Altcoin Buzz Trading. It's a brand new week. Although I'm still Randy, uh, and this is still a pretty good bull market in cryptocurrency, we're gonna go over a few less tokens just to go a little deeper on a couple of them. We're gonna talk about Solana and NEO today. Uh, but first, let's get to BTC and the price action. So BTC uh, had a pretty uneventful weekend, which was nice, nice to get a rest. And the whole market will be happy we did, I think, at least in some time. Uh, Bitcoin's in a situation right now where it tends to just kind of float up. We're not getting a tremendous amount of buying pressure stepping in, although it really can come in at any time. And sometimes it comes in unexpectedly, which can feel a little bit awkward. But if you got some BTC, there's really nothing wrong with it. Now on my chart here, you'll see I do have a trend line that I've drawn and we're going through the trend line. Um, I don't think of that as a huge issue to be honest with you. I know there's some trend line traders that don't let the coins go through the trend lines. Um, via my experience in the market, I actually let them go through trend lines in this way and I don't really find it a problem as long as it does it in a, in a uh, non-aggressive fashion, which it looks like it's doing so far, just kind of lower volume. I mean, average volume is way up here and it's actually declining. So, you know, we, we don't really have any aggressive selling pressure up here. So I don't, I don't mind this action. Now we are testing recent lows, uh, just even from yesterday, but overall we do have higher lows. And so that is a good thing. I don't think you, you have to be too uh, cautious really about the market right now overall. Now there's some individual names that are, that, that are spiking tremendously. A couple of them are selling off from those highs. No issues there. Those are good consolidations. So we're in a pausing stage of this, of this rally right now, which is a good thing. All right, next up is Solana. Uh, this is our market leader. I'm just gonna actually take the trend lines off the chart at the moment. And uh, look at how nice and concise this, this chart is. This is the kind of chart that you want on your screen. If you don't have this kind of chart on your screen, you're not looking at the right ones, at least in my opinion. The way that I trade, I, I, tr I like to trade these big swings to the upside. The consistency in this token is very positive. Uh, the tight price action uh, as it bases is very positive. And we're doing it again up here. Yes, we have some wicks, but look at these closes. They're just right in line with one another. That is called tight action. That is positive. If we pull back, we have room to pull back to. Let me bring those trend lines back in. Uh, we have room to pull back to vis-a-vis -vis this trend line, right? So we have some room to work here if we need to. And uh, look where most of my work is, is in these tight consolidation areas. So 5970 is our current alert level on this guy. And here's another trend line, which we're going through really not a bad fashion. So you can't be too mad at what Solana is doing right here. Um, it, it can go at any time. It's working on its own time frame. It's not worried about anything else. And this is a good one. So I, I don't have a next alert um, profit target for you on Solana. I like to let these go. I just, I mean, we, we talked about it down here. Uh, actually, I don't think we talked about this here on Altcoin Buzz here at 24 on my on my show we did. But um, yeah, even on Altcoin Buzz, we talked about it on a couple of them. We don't want to limit. We don't want to limit what these coins can do. And actually, we already had a good example of that. Um, it wasn't Pancake Swap, but Pancake Swap could have been when you take a measured move out of here, you know, like we, we were... We were doing measured moves. That's really one of the better ways, in my opinion, to see what we do. But look at this. Oh, we do have it on here. Hold on. It's just so small. You can't see it. That that was our trading plan. 1.478. We're at 2.2. <laughs> so in certain market conditions, having targets is a bad thing. And I mentioned when this broke out, I said to you all, I said, hey, if it's looking good at the tar profit point, try to hold it. Hold it. Try to go as far as you can. And... Uh, if you could still be holding that really with no issues here on pancake swap so that's a good uh a, a good reason here's one on solana right there these targets are these are for you guys right here when i have these i don't use these in my in my daily stuff uh 38 we're up at 57 so sometimes doing stuff like this can limit you don't limit yourself um if you don't have to all right next up is neo now this is an interesting one that apparently I don't have my trend lines on, so let me switch back to my normal charts. All right, NEO. There we go. Okay, so NEO, this one's interesting. NEO has had a pretty good rally, and now this is in a range-bound scenario. We don't talk much about range-bound trading. At least I don't. I'm not a big range-bound trader, but I'm familiar with the methods and how to do it. But this And this is a pretty good one to trade this range. Look at this. You got low, low volume down here sitting at the lows, uh, and this actually has what's called an undercut and rally candle. So... I'll zoom in here so you can see this. Here's a low. Here's a low. Yes, we have this big spike, but it's just too big to do anything with. So let's ignore the spike. 
Okay, it's just too massive. You see this low where, where my cursor is out of the screen candle and look at our current candle on the right. We we went under that, undercut it, came right back. Now there's still 32 minutes left in this candle, but this is called an undercut and rally. This is actually an entry signal, um, believe it or not. And so you could buy this, stops would be underneath this at about the $12 level, give or take. Looks like, what's the low of this thing? The low is 12.02. So you put a stop just under $12. And uh, maybe if we're really fortunate and the market stays good and it looks like it's going to stay good, maybe you got a 20 plus percent rally on your hands. That's like a, with a, just, just call it a 2% stop loss. That's a 10 to 1 risk reward trade right there. If it doesn't blow past that 15.42. But given the width of this, I would assume that it's going to do some more consolidating. But you're in from a position of strength with a really tight stop loss if this starts to pop up here. So this is not a bad opportunity for some traders right here. So just wanted to point that out. All right, guys. Uh, so that's it. The market's in a good spot. I don't want to run away from this market. Um, I'd rather look for smart spots to get in. This could be a smart spot with a really tight stop loss. So that's really good. All right, everybody. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow on Altcoin Buzz Trading.